welcome to Katie's Storybook Adventures. I'm Miss Katie, and I'm so excited to go on today's reading adventure with you. Today, we'll go on a hilarious adventure with a little girl, a candy cane, a Christmas tree, and Santa Claus. Can Grandma get everyone unstuck in time? Keep watching to find out. If you have a copy of this book at home, my little adventures, I invite you to grab it and follow along. The Candy Cane Fiasco by Rachel Hills and Louis Perez. My gram gives me a candy cane, and that's when things get tricky. Now from my toes up to my nose, I am a wee bit sticky. I'm strolling through the living room. My dog comes running by. She stops, and she jumps up on my leg and sticks right to my thigh. I plop upon a big, soft chair. It sticks right to my bum. The cat comes over for a rub, and she sticks to my thumb. I jump up. Swaying side to side, the tree goes tumbling down. It sticks like glue onto my feet and almost knocks me down. I end up soaring through the room. The cat, the dog, chair, and tree. I can't believe the tree is now dressed up and wearing me. I never thought I'd end up as my tree's decoration. It's not the Christmas that I planned and not a fun vacation. Just then my gram comes running back and bolts into the room. She says, that's silly. You can't wear a tree as your costume. No, Graham, I cry. The tree is stuck, and it is stuck to me. She nods her head and rolls her eyes and says, Oh, dear, I see. I guess you'll have to sit and wait till Santa Claus gets here. He'll surely know just what to do. Sit tight, my love. Don't fear. I sit there waiting patiently. He'll rescue me, I reckon. I wait there for 11 hours, 5 minutes, and 1 second. When Santa finally does arrive, he rushes to the tree. He tries to help. Oh, no, but now he's stuck right next to me. So there we are, cat, dog, and tree, and me and Santa, too, and tinsel, and the tree, and lights. Oh, what are we to do? It looks like it's all up to me, says kindly old grandmother. She goes into the kitchen and returns with peanut butter. She then begins to spread it on and uses the whole jar. She says, now hurry to the tub. Oh, what a sight you are. We line up in the hallway just outside the bathroom door. We're dripping peanut butter on the wooden hallway floor. Graham scrubs us clean, cat, dog, and chair, and me and Santa too. Then grabbing all the candy canes, she says, no more for you. But Santa is just so impressed how Grandma bathes the cat. He says, I've never witnessed an astounding feat like that. Dear Graham, I never would have known that you have magic powers. Would you and your granddaughter like to fly for a few hours? My team is full of magic, but we cannot wash a cat. We'd love to have someone aboard who's magical like that. Who would have thought a candy cane, a bath for our dear kitty, would be the reason we end up so high above the city? If you enjoyed today's adventure, please remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel for more reading adventures.